Hey there and welcome back to another VFX tutorial and just imagine you're playing a game like this 3D and you just check out how a loot is being displayed and you're thinking like wow I've seen that in Unreal tutorials or maybe Godot or Unity or whatever and you've seen like those packs you can buy or for example I don't know uh, you've seen video tutorials how to recreate and you're thinking like yes I wanna have that in my game. And then wah, 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 you're just reminded, ah, oh, you're using Game Maker. <laughs> Game Maker in 3D, yeah, not gonna happen. So you're thinking, okay, should you scratch it? Like, ah, oh, it's not gonna happen. What a shame. No, 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 no. Hold your horses. It's still possible. But of course, not in that extent. But hey, I got the one up in the year, uh, patented. Uh, cheap man solution of recreating kind of uh, the same thing but just in game maker just a little bit smaller and still looking swell so if you just want to know how to do that here then stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing then why not consider sharing liking and subscribing to the channel <laughs> of course Alrighty, so here once again a little bit of a preview. So there are different variations. Normally you just have this thingy here going upwards. It looks like a line. It is not. I will show you how to create those in quotations textures. So basically the more or less the line, but it's more a rounded a cone. And then of course here, uh, well, the sphere below, which is just, you know, a round object. So how can we do that? Yeah, it's not too difficult. And basically, uh, the more important shape is that dude here. And you're thinking like, are you sure? Yes, I am because I actually tried it. <laughs> so it is kind of a cone shaped. So here you need to have rounded top and bottom corners. And then um, what we're gonna do is make it kind of thin, something like this. And then the top one should be skewed a little bit to the center so you definitely have this kind of pinhead shape where the top is smaller and the bottom is bigger and of course because we're using uh, infinity photo you have to do that through that little thingy here and then this is how that works a mini tutorial how to create that so hopefully yeah so this is what we're gonna have and that is the shape and then the next thing which we're going to do and apply here is just to have um, outer glow warp, warp, warp. and then I don't, know, have, don't have the opacity too much and then um, export it as a png of course without the background so something like this of course a little hard to see and that's what you do also with um, well the rounded thing just have a round shape a blob uh, I don't know, a circle, then apply, uh, well, a glow and boom, we are fine. So let's go into Game Maker and how can we do this? Well, kind of easy. So first of all, we create uh, a particle system and here we're going to change quite a few values. So here I'm going to rush through it. So first of all, we apply our, uh, well, loot line. So basically this is this dude here. Um, so here and of course it's quite big could be smaller so this is just a little bit of overkill from my side but hey um, why not so what do we change first so first of all um, let's make this going into one line so the direction is 90 by 90 so we're just going upwards in one line which is definitely better of course it's still looking quite spammy so we just go and have minus 5 or minus 6 as a value as you can see now it's not too much and of course we want to have it from one point this is important so here as, as, as you can see not too bad and then we can customize a little bit further and say like hey opacity of 50 so it's not too um, oppressive concerning with the color and then we just go I don't know let's go with some nice yellow and the next one also 50 Let's go a little bit more to the orange range. Nice. And then the last one, also 50, or maybe even less if you like. It doesn't really matter. So this is up to your liking. And if you're seeing like, hey, this is definitely nice. 
Just a little caveat, the editing is huge now. If, you, if I would put it into the game, it would be kind of a little bit way too big. So therefore, we need to change a few other values. So first of all, maybe the life. So 40 by 80. So we kind of have a consistent thing. Then maybe uh, reduce the speed quite significantly. I don't know, that was 0 0.03, 0 0.5. So here it's now looking a little bit like a laser sword which is kind of nice and then well we need to change the size 0, 0.0 because that that dude is way too big so basically these kind of values we can take over also and now it's small it's really small but this is the way we want to have it this is definitely good um just a little caveat if you put additive it definitely looks nicer but then where you have the additive effect well at some point you will have white in the inside so here just take that with a grain of salt so you play with the alpha values and maybe you want to don't want to have it or want to have it so this is then definitely up to you and here i don't know do we want to play with the values yes we want to so five and um, what, what do we have here 2.2 and here we go this is what we wanted to have so for example if you just wanted to have that uh well then the tutorial is finished for you uh hope you, hopefully you got what you wanted of course the rest is now additional stuff if you like so one thing which we can do is put a wiggle wiggle on on the uh, orientation so 0 0.3 and then it will you know wiggle a little bit maybe 0 0.2 and it may look kind of nice then the next thing which we can have is our ball so we just duplicate so first of all rename it uh, that is our line that is our ball and here we just change not too many values just the the image so basically of the ball of course you can use the pre uh, the um, well one of the ones which are you know preloaded or you make your own and as you can see wobbly as hell mm, let's make it two by two make it additive also and it's looking nice so here that was that additionally we can duplicate the line and make it go up so basically an internal mini wave going inside and going upwards so how what do we do, do here well kind of easy we just once again have the same line here make it a little bit less spammy so minus 30 but then what we're gonna do is create an alpha value of 20 because we don't want it to be too oppressive concerning in color and then i don't know going to zero and now we have to shoot it up so uh, no no no, not you we have to go with a speed value let's say 0 0.3 and maybe to 0 0.5 and now it will go upwards and then once once that is it becomes a little bit nicer so here for example it's not too visible so let's say you don't do that with additive now you see a little bit that stuff is going inside here so this is the idea that you have kind of an internal thing but of, of course if everything is additive at some point it becomes all white so hopefully it's visible it's like a slight effect but it's kind of cool and then the last one is once again we just copy paste duplicate and call that uh, pixel so basically pixels going upwards just you know so you can actually see all that stuff come on why is the expect expect always disappearing on me uh yeah so additive no ball additive we can have that all right so for the pixels we just take once again the same values but now we don't want it we just want to have one pixel going upwards and now we need to spam them first of all not from one point but here from a, you know kind of a range so we can just say like uh, what do i use for the pixels nine seven okay here we go 
9.7 then we have kind of this range now we can actually drag and drop that this is kind of neat and then we just rush them upwards but of course um, you don't see anything because they are super tiny so what do we do well we just go with a value of 1 and 1 and now you see hopefully some pixels going upwards but they should be going upwards a little bit longer and as you can see hope they are now here of course make them a little bit faster concerning the speed so here 0 0.3 0. I don't know 7 something like this and as you can see looking nicer but of course here at the end we need to kill them so they nicely fade out but of course this is going a little bit too fast so we just use a negative increment concerning the speed of what did I put in here uh, 0 0.05 something like this and then at some point they will you know stop here which is kind of the effect which we wanted to have and then we can spread them a little bit to the left and to the right so something like 80 and 100 and then they can just go upwards and downwards and that's pretty much it so for example we can actually uh, use and abuse our thing and import it into our game where are you so here let's input that and let's actually check out what kind of mess we did here so let's see uh, so let's see here yeah looking swell so here kind of a neat effect so of course here this is with tons of additive blending and sometimes you just want to have something like this so hopefully that was of interest to you guys and once again patented cheap man's one up in the vfx effect for loot so <laughs> for that thing um maybe i'm just thinking like maybe i'm gonna do that for in in with pixel art in a, with, with the tool so maybe that could look more interesting because the contrast is a little bit too 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 dark but let's say you put uh, something up front then it's not too you know too bad so for example alone it's not too nice but for example if you combine it with some pixel art which you then hover over then it's actually not too bad at all alrighty then see you in the next one have a good one one up indie